Lincoln University professors Keith Cameron and Hong Di talk about why it's important to stop nitrogen leaching and the development of their groundbreaking fertiliser EcoN. One of the challenges we face is trying to keep our agriculture systems buoyant but at the same time ensuring that it doesn't affect the wider environment. We need to ensure that the nitrate stays in the soil rather than being leached into rivers, lakes and groundwater. And the research that we conduct in this underground laboratory in the middle of a paddock helps us to understand and to develop new technologies to reduce the risk of nitrate leaching from agriculture. So what we have in this laboratory are 16 large one-ton lysimeters. These are large columns of soil collected from Lincoln University Dairy Farm. And each one of them, the surface is at ground level above the laboratory, getting the same rainfall, the same evaporation, same sunshine as the rest of the paddock. But we can come downstairs in the middle of this paddock into this underground laboratory and we can collect the drainage water that comes out of each one of these lysimeters. And we can measure the quality of that drainage water. How much nitrate is in that water gives us a measure of what effect agriculture is having on the wider environment. And we are therefore able to give out information not only on how much leaching of nitrate comes from graze pasture, dairy farming, sheep, beef farming, etc. We can also develop some new technologies to reduce the risk of that nitrate leaching loss. And that's what my colleague Professor Hong Di will describe in the next part. So we've been working over the last uh, 20 years or so in trying to develop a mitigation technology trying to reduce nitrate leaching from the grazing pasture systems. And here is a simplified version of the nitrogen cycle. And uh, if you look at the nitrogen from the, from the animal urine, from the clover fixation, from the fertilizer, all of the nitrogen is returned in the soil and released as an ammonium. And ammonium is a positive ion and it is retained by the negatively charged soil particles. Okay, ammonium does not leach in the soil so easily. And ammonium is a available nutrient for the plants to use. All right? But in the soil, the ammonium is transformed into nitrate, NO3-, minus, which is a negative ion. Okay? Being a negative ion, a nitrate is not retained by the soil particles. So nitrate always stays in the water. Wherever the water goes, the nitrate goes. That's why nitrate leaching is such a major problem particularly over the winter period, right? And nitrate can also be transformed into N2O, which is nitrous oxide, which is a powerful greenhouse gas. So nitrous oxide, in terms of the long-term warm, uh, global warming potential, nitrous oxide is 300 times more powerful than carbon dioxide. Okay, so it's a very powerful greenhouse gas. So what the, we thought, of, you know, what if we treat the soil with a chemical called nitrification inhibitor. So this is a very safe compound. It's safer to the, than the salt you eat every day. It's a biodegradable and doesn't last very long. The soil only lasts about two or three months. It leaves no long-term residues in the soil. So we treat this chemical, uh, treat the soil with this chemical, and what it does is slow down this conversion from ammonium to nitrate. So slow down this particular process. So keep the nitrogen from the urine, from the fertilizer, from the clover in the ammonium form, which is held by the soil particles and for the plants to use of the, of the longer term. So by doing that, you can reduce the nitrate concentration in the, in the soil, in the water, so you reduce nitrate leaching losses and reduce nitrous oxide emissions. So that's how the nitrification inhibitor works.